I'm Julie. And I'm Martin. And we live full time on our 58 foot narrowboat home, Rhapsody in Blue. We're taking you along as we continuously cruise the canals and rivers of the UK with some beautiful scenery, occasional wildlife, landmarks, aqueducts and tunnels. Come with us. Last time you'll remember we were moored at Shirley. So it is the 11th of August today. It's our eldest son's birthday. Happy birthday, Danny. Um, and we are now going to head off towards, where is it? Kings Norton Junction, we think. We may even make it round to Cadbury World and we'll have a look round there. So yeah, we're just gonna move forward about five miles or so. So yeah, we've only been here two nights, just enough to get some shopping and well nothing else really we just sort of had a little bit of a chill out yep nick is just starting up yeah so you've got your tiller on haven't you oh, everything's ready yes and we're gonna go we've got yeah, the washing machine on, on. Um, yeah it's really quite nice mooring it's very nasty. very dusty towpath so the, the boat is covered in dust Oh yes, we've managed to get a few apples off of this tree. I mean, these ones here are, are almost ready, but we can't quite reach them. So, but we've got a few and I'm going to see if I can make an apple crumble. This map shows you where Shirley is in the UK. So starting at Shirley, we cruise in a northwesterly direction. We have stunning scenery on the way. We go through a short tunnel before turning right at Kings Norton Junction and going up towards Bourneville. So Martin's just about ready. I'm gonna push off at the front here and we can go that away. So here we go. We're just wondering if um, this uh, boat is okay. They seem to be struggling a bit. That's that day boat again. We're just hovering, waiting for them to come past us. So we've got past now and hopefully we'll be able to get moving. But uh, the, the, the canal is really, really shallow and there seems to be quite a bit of um, rubbish and what have you in the water so we just spoke to them and they seem to think that they might have something on their prop so they're going to stop in a minute and check so goodness looks like we've got the same problem they had with the other boat uh, if that's the same boat that it went out with it's quite a low overhanging tree there <laughs> you can see the smoke coming from the day boat behind martin very reminiscent right. of last week's where we stopped to help them but this time, these people said they were fine. They were okay to do it themselves. It does look pretty down here with all that algae on the water. That looked lovely. Going there, we just left Shirley. It's, um, <laughs> it's a little bit murky. Uh, well, how can I put it? Quite a bit of like floating weed about. Can't do much speed. There seems to be a lot of debris in the water, probably branches and that for overhanging trees. So, pretty much, it's going to be a slow, steady pace today. Not that I'm complaining.
some beautiful gardens, look, overlooking the canal. How lovely is that? Look at this. I know it's algae, but doesn't it make it look pretty? Get right and keep it nice and slow. That'll be uh, McDonald's for lunch then. <laughs> slowly poodling through there's a lot of weed floating on the top and again we're under the canopy of trees still on there, I think it's the strap of an Avon now heading towards Birmingham it does look very picturesque I just can't believe how beautiful this is down here. This is just stunning. With the sun coming through and just, just lighting up the trees and the leaves and the algae, it's just, oh, this is just wonderful. So enjoying this. Look at that. Wow. 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 I don't have any more adjectives, I'm afraid. It's just stunning. I'm just going to let this play. Hiya. Hiya. What a lovely stretch of canal. It really is gorgeous. We've got a couple of swans. Snow right down for these. A family of swans. watching this heron, see if he's going to stay there or is he going to fly off. Oh, he's seen us. Oh, he's a brave heron, heron, look at that. He's posing. Oh, no, off he goes. No. <laughs> you staying? No, you're going again. So while we're filling up with water, I'm just going to walk up there, across the bridge, 
and I'm going to go and get us some lunch. I'm not going to take the camera with me though because uh, I won't have enough arms. So we can't resist a McDonald's, not when it's so close to the canal. Literally two minute walk, yum. That's it, we've had our McDonald's lunch, we filled up with water and we're on our way again. <laughs> Well, it would have been nice to have gone down there and had a look, but we are just passing through. We've got a blind bend here and a bridge. <coughs> There's a boat coming, I heard it too. Yeah, right, do you want to get to the right? Wow, they tooted back. That was good, yep. Yeah. They did really well. They pulled the boat over. We've had to get over to the side. This canal is so shallow. As soon as we tried to, to reverse, we just sat on the bottom basically. So they're now coming through and Nikki, Nikki is holding over there. So they're now trying to get past Nikki. It's very, very tight. Nikki's calling them through. Everybody's smiling, so it's all good. It's all good. We've just managed to get off of the bank and we can now carry on through the bridge. We will, of course, check that Nikki can get through as well. Yep. <coughs> Nikki's got through. And we meet another boat. But wasn't that good? We sounded our horn and they did a toot back. Well done, them really good we shall let this chappy know that there's a boat behind us if you can't already see her so hopefully we can get going now <laughs> it's all good fun it's all good fun so there was a sign back there saying that we need to keep to the center of the canal keep to the center channel um, so it's obviously very silted up everywhere and you know you've got all these like moored boats alongside so we're doing tick over in fact we're barely moving oh look at this they've got a chandlery gift shop services everything that looks nice I think it's going to fly. Oh, he's turned his back on us. <laughs> is it going to stay there or is it going to fly? Brave. Lovely. Pretty garden. And their flag says it's five o'clock somewhere. Um, we've just been past what was that boat yard? Or it was all like linear moorings, wasn't it? it was lion, I think. Lion something. I ain't joking. It was so shallow. It was unbelievable. We did think about stopping, but. I don't know if we could have got to the side. I forgot we're going through a tunnel in a minute. I could go and get the. So and get the torch. It's only need. a little tiny tunnel. That's what I mean. We don't need big lights. So. No. Well, you, if there's a boat coming the other way, put them on. I don't even know if it's a single or a double. Probably a very just very wide bridge. Well, it's 275 yards, so it's not like huge. It's not a long tunnel. It's only a baby one. Uh, we just had McDonald's, didn't we? Saw it on the map and saw that it was so close to the canal. And we needed water anyway, so 
Did Make... everyone was keeping it quiet. Made I sense, didn't I it? I saw the message and I went, uh, excuse me. Well, Nikki hadn't said anything. She said there's water at bridge number five. And I looked on my map and it was like, hold on, there's not just water. <laughs> there's McDonald's, but she didn't know. Oh, she Nikki didn't, didn't know that there was McDonald's there. So, but uh, yeah, it just made sense for us to stop really. So we've had lunch or dinner. So we'll only need a little snack later. Yeah. We're hoping to get round to Bourneville today, aren't we? Yeah. Where the chocolate factory is. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to go into the shop and buy a little bit of chocolate. But nah, I don't like. I don't, I, it's very expensive to go into these places, and so we sort of pick and choose where we want to go. I mean, there's one place we really want to go, and that's the um, Black Country Museum, isn't it, at Dudley? And we want to have a look at some other experiences that you can have in Dudley. Yeah. Something about, like, Cadbury's World. It's not the sort of thing we want. Black Country Museum, Dudley, now, to me, that's more important because it's like, it shows us where we live yes. now. Yes. What we're doing canals, that side of it, so I, yeah, I, that to me is more appealing than just eating chocolate. And, we we all day. love chocolate, but... And it loves my waistline because it likes to hang around. <laughs> yeah, trying to lose a little bit of weight. Mind you, we're saying there's lots of fit people along here today. So many joggers, walkers, runners, yeah, and this is an event going on. Hiya. Hiya. Yeah, it's only a short tunnel, you can see the other end. It's only 275 yards, so not long at all. I don't know how wet it is in there though. <laughs> we shall find out. So, look at this. It's like... It's almost it's, like you know I don't know what that is. Used to put statues in. Yeah. yeah. Like a statue and it had like a curve. Yeah, there's one the other side as well. Look, there's yeah. two. And I don't know what that was either. We'll have to find out. So, here we go. I think you might need a light in there, mate. I'm going to put the torch on in a second once we get inside. This is... Oh, well, I can't even remember the name of it. Without the torch, that's with the torch. Look at that. Wow. You see all the line on the wall. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> This is a nice tunnel, it's a little one. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Wow. That is spectacular, isn't it? Look at this. Look at that. Oh, there's a log in the water there. Hopefully we're going to just push it to one side. Yeah, there you go. It'll come alongside us. Old log, isn't it? Hmm. Is, isn't it? Oh, it's widened right up here. I've come to the front because there's um, an old guillotine stop lock at the end of this canal. So uh, I want to see.
see if I can get some footage of it. Oh, I bet they've got a lovely view up there. All those windows. If you can see up here. Look. It's all windows. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Very nice. Unusual. So it's getting rather warm. I think it's going up to about 27, 28 degrees today. So we'll be coming up to the end of the canal soon. Yeah, we're thinking this might have been a swing bridge or a lift bridge at one stage because there was bollards for you to tie to. Goodness knows what was here before. It's all a little bit dishevelled and uh, colourful walls. <laughs> it looks like an old water tower. We should be seeing the uh, old guillotine lot soon. Looks like we've got another carpet of green algae again. So we're coming up to the old stop lock there and it's a guillotine lock. So I just hope it doesn't come down as we go past. <laughs> I think it's been made safe. So the guillotine is per permanently in the air. Looks like we may have some gongoozlers as well. Look at all that algae on the water. And there's the guillotine lock, look at that. It's just been left there from days gone by. Wow. And we're going into the lock. It looks like there's guillotine both ends. There's a running event going on at the moment, so there's the other guillotine and all its gubbins. Stop locks were originally used to stop boats when entering new canals and make them pay a toll. There's Nicky coming into the lock. We just have a carpet green. Look at this. Wow. Uh, he nearly got a fish. Not quite. Gosh, look at that big building in front of us. Look at that. Right, shall we look up what that is? Can't quite read what it says on there. <coughs> now Martin's just sounded that because we are turning down there. And we are going on to the Worcester and Birmingham Canal. That's where we're heading. No hoots coming back and there's nothing coming that way. It's clear Martin. It's very weedy. Look, that's where we've just been. That's where we're heading. So we're coming off of the North Stratford Canal and onto the Worcestershire and Birmingham Canal. Oh, this looks nice. Very nice. Hopefully we should come across Bourneville and just hope that there's going to be some moorings because this looks really nice to moor along here. Oh, look at this building on the right hand side here. I wonder what that was. All the windows are bricked up, which is a shame. 
find out what that was. I bet it can tell some stories. Look at those buildings through there. Wow. That's definitely got to have had something to do with the history on the canals. This is the colourful walls as we're approaching Birmingham. Look at it. It was quite artistic actually. This wall seems to go on forever and ever and ever. It's a big old bridge, isn't it? Yeah, good job you haven't got smell of vision You can probably hear all the gulls. Um, there's a recycling centre along here that we just went past. It has a little pong to it. Hello, Maureen. Yeah, you can definitely tell we're coming into a city, can't you? beautiful weather today really is lovely so warm and there's a nice breeze every now and again you get a real breeze it's lovely going through this bridge we should get a little bit of a breeze which would be nice oh yeah very industrial along here all different companies different manufacturers Hopefully it shouldn't be too long and we should be somewhere near Cadbury's World. <laughs> I think that's where we're going to look in it possibly more up tonight. Push comes to shove we'll end up going to Gastry but we'll take it as it comes. So this is hopefully just after here is where we're hoping to moor. Well, this is actually the railway station. So we could be mooring alongside the station. That's going to be interesting. And we are at Bourneville. This isn't a bad mooring. It's gated, it's the opposite side of the towpath, so we're nice and sheltered. There's a lovely breeze coming through, and I believe we even have a bench we can sit on down there. So that's brilliant. So we're above the houses here. Not quite sure, I suppose that's Bourneville, isn't it? Well, today is going to be 30 degrees, apparently, Celsius, and um, we've got everything in the boat ready for the heat. We've got all the windows open, we've got the blinds closed, we've got fans on, it's lovely and warm, and then we can hear rumbling. Hopefully you heard that. It looks like we're going to get a one-off thunderstorm. My stomach. No, it wasn't your stomach, Martin. Look at the clouds building. Wow. We had lovely blue sky, what, five minutes ago? So we could be in for a lovely downpour. <laughs> that there is the Cadbury, Cadbury chocolate building. So. Sounds like it's a good one. And yes, where we're moored, we're right by the train. But do you know what? We didn't hear a thing last night, did we? We slept right through. Whoa. I don't know if the camera picked that up. We just had a proper fork lightning. Ready? Mm. It is. 
rain's going to hit us, though. Where's the rain? Come on, we could do with a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Whoa, big drop. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. And just like that, five minutes later, we have brilliant sunshine. Look at that. Beautiful. Back to summer. <laughs> These are a couple of our subscribers. So yeah. Give us a wave. Uh, give us a wave, guys. What was your names? Mandy and John. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Are you going to go oh. get some chocolate? We might do, yeah. We're going to go and see. Yeah, <laughs> Lovely to meet you too. And you. Bye bye. Bye. So, this is our mooring. It's a shame this is all overgrown. And look at the canal. It almost looks like grass. And then you right, can you can try and walk on it, Julie. Go and walk on it. <laughs> We've just come through the gate, so it's gated, and uh, we're now going to go and find some shops. Going to go down onto the path there. As far as we're aware, these houses, all that you see, originally were built for the cabri workers. Wow, that up there is the canal. We've just come down this path here. It goes up to the canal. So these houses here. You look, they're very uniform. We're all built for Cadbury's, Cadbury's workers. So we're actually in Sturchley Village. Not something you see every day, above a carpet shop. <laughs> We'd bought some shopping, so Martin took it back to the boat while I carried on walking towards Cadbury World and Martin was gonna catch me up. Well, I hope I'm going the right way. I'm uh, following signs that say Cadbury World and all the lampposts are purple and I'm assuming this is all part of Cadbury and I can smell chocolate. So, assuming I'm going the right way. I made it and what an impressive building. It was huge. And look at all that chocolate. We went inside but we didn't take the tour so we just popped into the shop. And of course, yes, we bought some chocolate. And then we walked back to the boat. Why have you got the light on? Because I'm filming you sitting out here like a loon watching meteors look shooting stars actually, shooting yeah. stars sorry <laughs> but the technical name is meteors that are entering our atmosphere and burning up through it yeah, but I and can't burning see out at the moment because of the bright light honestly it's such a face. fussy woman we had been told that there would be shooting stars and the possible site of the Aurora Borealis, so we were sitting outside. I got these lovely shots anyway, and the last couple I did actually manage to get the Aurora. us next time as we continue our journey and we'll also let you into a little secret we've got some exciting news to tell if you've enjoyed this video please give us a like subscribe it's totally free and leave us a comment we love reading them and we answer them all
And thank you so much for the super thanks and coffees this week. We really appreciate it. See you next time. Bye.